Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform our viewers about technology and technology-related topics. Today's video presentation is going to be an interesting one. We're actually going to set up a desktop environment in a Linux container. That's right, a desktop in an LXC. Then we're going to use X2Go so that we can actually view that desktop. Now, X2Go offers a few great options. We can even stream just an application from our container to our desktop so we can use it in a more or less sandboxed environment. So, the first thing we need to do to start the process of setting up a container to use it with a desktop and X2Go is to actually create the container. Now, to create the container, I am just going to simply clone a container that I've already made here. If you don't have a container template to do that with, consider following some of our other videos on creating a container, as well as creating a template and cloning. So now that we have a container created, I can go ahead and look at the resources here. Now, these are kind of low for a desktop, so let's just give it a little bit of more resources to use. Now, I'm just kind of throwing some better resources at it today. We're going to be using a lightweight desktop, and overall, this server has some performance issues with doing this type of thing. So, just to create a nice, simple demo for you, we're just going to give it some resources. I'm not going to offer suggestions as I haven't been able to efficiently create a great desktop experience with this particular server. Now, I don't believe it to be a problem with the installation itself. I believe it more to be a problem with the old bulldozer class APU that I am running this server on and the otherwise load of the server using the ZFS RAID array and other things on this server. We're working on an upgrade if you're following along with our videos and that will be coming soon so we can have better experience for running projects like this. We can go ahead and start that container now and open our console. Let's log in. And the first thing we're going to do, as in all builds, is going to be to update the container's operating system and repositories. apt update and and apt upgrade dash y should update this container and all of the repositories. All right. Now let's start by installing the desktop that we want to use with this container. In my case, I'm going to use XFCE4, but you can also use LXDE or even Mate. So to install XFCE4, we're going to use the command apt install XFCE4-y and press enter. Now this process is fairly lengthy. There's quite a bit of files to move over to our container and download from the internet. All right, now that we have the desktop installed, let's start the process of installing X2Go. We're going to stream a few commands together here, so X2Go installs as an entire process, and I don't have to do multiple installs. apt install X2Go server, X2Go server slash X session, and then we're going to add the dash Y to answer the yes question. This will install X2Go so that we can actually view the desktop using an SSH connection using the X2Go client. So with X2Go installed, the only last step we need to do on this container is to create a username. 
By default, SSH will not allow you to use the root user to log in. This is a pretty good security feature. So we're not going to disable it. Instead, we're going to create a second user that we can use to log into this container with. So to do that, we can type add user and then a username. I'm using test today. Enter the password. We now have a user added. Now I'm not going to give the user things like pseudo rights or anything else as this is a basic tutorial and we can add software and do as we wish using the console session and the root user account. One thing I will do for later on in this tutorial right now is install Firefox. You'll see why in a minute. So let's go ahead and reboot this container so all the changes can take effect. Now all this container is rebooting, let's head over to the X2Go wiki. Shown on my screen now is the X2Go wiki. We can go to the download section right here, get to X2Go, and you'll be presented with this page. Right here, you can click the latest X2Go client for Windows. Now, if you have a Mac or other Linux systems, don't fear, you can still use X2Go. X2Go has various different installations, even for Raspberry, of the X2Go client for Mac and Linux, as well as Windows. Install X2Go. I'm not going to show you how, I feel you know how. And our container has rebooted. I'm just going to run IP address so I can see the IP address that my DHCP server has assigned to this container. Now, I can open X2Go client and we can create a new session. The first thing we wanna do after opening the new X2Go client and Selecting create new session is to enter the host address. In my case, it's going to be 1010.266 as found right here. The login we created, my case test, port is 22 because we're using the default SSH port. And then we can select the desktop we're using, XFCE. Now we can click OK, and we can now select this screen over here and type new session to select the session we want to use and press enter. It's going to ask us for our password, so we can enter that now, and it'll ask us if we trust this key. We're going to select yes. And we have established a connection to the container that we set up for displaying this desktop. The desktop will load momentarily. And you can see here, we have a fully functioning desktop. Applications, configurations as such. And just like I showed you before, when I installed Firefox, we can even open a web browser here. Now, as I noted, my performance is kind of junky, but you can see the desktop. The, there you go. Here is Firefox loaded and running. Now, let's go ahead, close Firefox, close this screen, end the session, and let me show you something else cool about X2Go. We go down here and we change the properties and we change this box to single application. We can then select the web browser or other applications, even entering our own path if we choose to enter a custom one. We can select OK. Now, when we load the new session, we're actually going to see 
in a second here, Firefox itself load up without the desktop. Well, we should have. Let's go ahead and try logging out this way. Cancel, select session, single application, web browser. There we go. I don't know quite what happened the first time around, but as you can see, Firefox loaded as its own window. So we're using a quote unquote sandboxed environment of Firefox right here as if it was a native desktop application, but it is running in an LXC on our Proxmox home lab server. I hope you enjoyed today's presentation of setting up a desktop and setting up desktop applications to run in an LXC on your Proxmox home lab server. If you did, please consider like, sharing, subscribing, and even commenting. I would like to also thank the users on Reddit that originally created this tutorial that we followed today for this video presentation. If you'd like to view their initial tutorial, please head over to the virtualizeeverything.com website and view the post on using a desktop with LXC, Proxmox 7. I will have a link directly to that post below. As always, have a good night.